All right, here, wait. I'm here with Sean, and he's demonstrating how fantastical Bolero carpet cleans. We told you it cleans really good. So for about seven years, I've been testing this product with Shaw before I knew what it was. And what's really important to understand, before they delivered this product to the market, they were having cleaners abuse it. We were abusing, testing, and giving them feedback, and it didn't have a name yet. It was just this new polyester, and I said, don't, don't give me polyester, I'm just gonna make fun of it. And this surprised us. After all the cleanings we did, the abuse of throwing this in the sun and letting stains bake and drive forklifts over top of it at our cleaning trade shows, the carpet kept cleaning and it kept releasing stains. It was resilient. It didn't, when we'd clean and scrub and scrub, we weren't seeing the yarns untwist and bloom. We weren't seeing a round yarn become flat and shiny like a typical polyester would have. We were surprised and I asked the lab, I said, what is this? This isn't polyester. Uh, it's this new stuff we're developing and we hired a new chemist and we're gonna make all this new fiber really to compete against some of the, the newer yarns that were coming out of Mohawk with Triexa from 2009. So I'm learning about it and learning. So, well, I told him Triexta tends to fracture and fall apart after two and three cleanings. We're seeing it fall down. Why won't this fall down? And they said they'd filled in, they changed their extrusion process. They're not drawing the yarn. So the fibers aren't becoming untwisted. They have more resilience and more structure. So we cleaned the carpet and stained the carpet, and kept cleaning the carpet, and it just kept on performing. We're like, how is this possible? How is this not poly polyester from a cleaning standpoint and nylon from a resilience standpoint? I'm a nylon guy. For 25, 28 years I've been cleaning. When a customer asks me, what do I buy? I tell them, buy nylon. Up until about two years ago, after doing five years of testing on Bolera, it's like, now they have a rivaling competitor. Now they've got something yeah. where nylon might be here in resilience. I'd put this Bolero right next to or slightly below. I think nylon still abrasive it resistant better. But we've got a fiber that is not polyester and certainly not olefin. But we've got something that's competitive and resilience and far superior chemically. It, How much of it, the ability to clean, it has to do with the backing? The backing has nothing to do with the cleaning. The backing helps control where the soils go to. So let me, I'll demonstrate what that is really okay. easily. If your animal has an accident and your little puppy pees or my brother's big mastiff pees, he's a big dog, he's got a lot going on and he has those accidents. If I've got that amount of moisture that's going through in a typical backing style carpet that gets this wet, that moisture is going to be down into this. It's not, it doesn't go through. It's kept that moisture at the top where I can work on it. I can flood it and remove it so it makes it much more cleanable. Yeah. I now can get to it without having to pull the pad, go substrate, seal the floor, replace tack strip and all the other problems when this gets repetitive repeat offender damage. So we've got a backing system that controls where the soil is, a yarn that stops stains from, you know, from our ability to remove them. We can get them out. We, it's chemically resistant to even bleach. I mean, I can reapply, and I wouldn't suggest this. This is only being shown for demonstrations. But if I had light coloration, like this little wine residue, that I can immediately apply chlorine, or I would use hydrogen peroxide as a cleaner and it won't pull the color out of this carpet. I have redone this demonstration and recleaned this carpet over 40 times in the last two days on the same areas, and they keep recleaning, and it, and I've done this little demo with a, an aggressive cleaner that Shaw does not recommend. I would never use this as a professional carpet cleaner in my truck. I use 20% um, peroxide and a black light because that will make that mustard disappear in about 10 minutes of acceleration better than using any toxics because if I bring that in the house, if I accidentally spill that on this carpet, I've got color loss. If I accidentally put a little bit of bleach on a nylon, like right there, it will lose color. Right? This doesn't lose color. It is chemically corrosive resistant. Carpet cleaners oftentimes use aggressive chemistry to go after stains that aren't your typical spot because a stain stays in, S-T-A-I-N, stays in. So we go after it with missiles and chemicals and sometimes those chemicals pull the color of the carpet. No matter what we've done on this stuff, nothing's come out.
we haven't lost color. We've, we've degraded the fiber with UV that would normally lose color just from sun and recreated fading conditions. No color loss. So what if you didn't get right to the stain and it was there so party it's been he a few baked weeks baked them in the sun for three days drove forklifts on them let them bake again and kept cooking them outside as carpet cleaners trying to abuse it they said sean destroy this carpet okay we tried and the only thing eventually it happened we burned out the tires of our truck on it we couldn't fix that <laughs> yeah, we were in the parking lot. We were driving Segways and forklifts on it. We finally just power power brake and spun out on the carpet. It melted it. We were surprised. But from a, a long-term standpoint, it doesn't matter. Because if I had to go more aggressive with chemistry that might have bonded into, onto the yarn faster, yeah. it's not going to hurt for me to have to work on it. Okay. So you have an advantage. You have a fiber that's resilient, a stain resistance that lasts. I don't have to retreat with protectors every time, like on a nylon. The first time I clean it, it scours off some of the dye blocker, and then it removes the flora chemistry somewhat. After the second cleaning, I better be re-putting Scotchgard down. This one, I don't have to reapply. What about the resilience of the carpet coming back to life? After 60 plus cleanings that we've done to abusive, rotary cleanings, things that are not recommended, we still had a fiber that did not untwist. Okay. It did not lay down flat on it as cleaners. You know, Shaw did their testing and their walk test and their tumble test, and that's all fun. And I feel labs have value, but when it came to the real world test as a carpet cleaner that knows what your customers do to this, I think we recreated that abuse more than they could. So this is the best value carpet. Again, we say it's for stairs and high traffic areas and it can put up with the abuse from your family. I've been testing, I'm a carpet cleaner out of Colorado. So it's Shaw Bolera. I'm still, I didn't work on that part. I sell a lot of these.